Thirty percent of the population is atheist. This country can't 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 get away from fairy tales and fantasy land quick enough. Okay, let me just say something. There comes a point of time, seriously, where you need to draw a line in the sand. I, and because someone, Dan, and I love you to pieces, I don't has.
tedious and it's exhausting. Like, oh my God, can we just stop? And if you want to see how, this is interesting. If you want to see how one thing can open up a can of worms, and I'm going to talk about this for one small blip and then we're going to hit a music break. Okay. When people start talking about removing the Confederate flag because there are so many people that just absolutely want to hold tightly to it and they refuse to acknowledge why it's not right. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Now in Oklahoma City, they're saying they have a statue of the Ten Commandments there and it's actually on State House grounds. It's been there for years. And now people are calling for these Ten Commandments, the monument, they're saying it must come down. And the crazy thing is, it may come down faster than the Confederate flag is going to be removed from South Carolina. How? People are saying it's because we have a separation of church and state. So my question is, when does this stop? It doesn't stop. Because it, when, if stop. it won't stop. Because then if you take the Ten Commandments down, then somebody's going to see something else, and they're going to not believe it, and they're going to want that to come down. But my question is, how are the Ten Commandments offensive? Like I just said, because it's telling people what to do what's right, and God forbid we do what's right. This is the Maya Kai Show featuring comedian Nikki Brayton coming to you live yes, yes. from the 90.5 FM HD studio. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Your radio never sounded better. Follow Maya on Twitter at the Maya Akai Show, on Instagram at Maya Akai, and friend her on Facebook. Social media is bringing us all closer together. The Maya Akai Show. Radio never looks so good. Eh, I'm going to retweet this. the Maya Kai show we are in the what's trending portion of the show where we talk mm -hmm. about those headlines and hot topics that everyone's talking about and there's more than enough of those Nikki to go around you can't I mean you can barely make it to bed without something trending promise. it's craziness you go to sleep you wake up and you're like ah something else right there's always something going on if you want to join the conversation don't be shy dial in 708-223-0030 or you can always get social with the show at the Maya Kai show Facebook and Twitter Nikki Braden Everywhere. Everywhere. Just find her. Nikki yeah. Braden everywhere. <laughs> it's pretty easy to find. So, the next topic we put on before we took our musical break is that I said, you know, everything that's happening, especially with the Confederate flag, has turned into a can of worms. Snowball. It's snowballed into every conversation, everywhere, everyone's talking about something about their own personal interest. And this is where things tend to get diluted. So, if it wasn't enough that it's taken forever to try to get the Confederate flag down, mm -hmm. in Oklahoma City, 
pretty much an Oklahoma court is saying that these Ten Commandments monument that's been there for a number of years, it's like six foot tall granite monument that has the Six Commandments inscribed on it, that based on our law itself, it never should have been there and it needs to be removed. And even though the Ten Commandments, they said, are integral to the Jewish and Christian faith, and it was funded by a Republican legislator, they said it's obviously religious in nature and has no place on the state grounds. Well, I think it's so funny that they could be so definitive about the Ten Commandments, but so less definitive about the Confederate flag. I mean, it's nuts. And literally, they had a 7-2 ruling to overturn a decision by the district courts to determine if it should stay. Hmm. And it was probably a call was made by a handful of Republican lawmakers because they said, look, you, you got to remove this. You must remove this. This is so childish. I mean, this is where it, it nothing ever stops because it's looked at like, well, if you give them what they want, then this is what I want. So now take this down because I don't like it. And then somebody else is going to be like, well, I don't like this. So take it down. It's so childish. And the Ten Commandments and the Confederate flag are so polar opposite issues that this is ridiculous. It's like, let me find something to take down because I want something down, too. So I, I'll, I pick that. And, you know, of course, the American civil. underneath it as they yeah. proceeded into the rotunda it's, it's, so it's, just, it's insulting and disrespectful it's so disrespectful and it, keeps, it just keeps letting you know how people do not they really don't feel this they're only going through the motions because they have